What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. What up bitches? <laughs> so in today's video, as you can tell by the title and thumbnail, we are recapping Mustang Fest. Yep, 2022. We figured even though this video might be a little bit boring and it's gonna be nothing but us talking, mm -hmm. that we would recap the entire week because Mustang Fest was a brand new event. This was the first year they did it. There was a lot of mixed emotions, you know, revolving around the whole thing. And honestly, there was a lot of drama, um, you know, leading up to Mustang Fest. But we just kind of wanted to give you our perspective of going down there. Mm -hmm. So I guess I'll just start off by saying, obviously it wasn't Mustang week. Yeah. Now, that's not a good thing. That's not a bad thing. Mustang Fest was not intended to be Mustang week just to put it stupid simple it was intended to be its own event by a group of guys that loved going down there taking part in these events and hanging out with their friends so again it wasn't intended to be mustang week it was supposed to be something totally different which for the most part i think it was you know um one thing that people have to consider is Mustang Week is a massive event. They have a whole team of people that are associated with this event and coordinate and do all this stuff. Mustang Fest wasn't quite like that. But again, that's not a good thing, that's not a bad thing. They just did not have the budget that Mustang Week does. And I know Nick and I were talking about that on the way down. Nobody expects them to. You can't compete with something like that. You know, it's, it's like comparing apples to oranges. But overall, from my perspective, I thought the event was very fun. They, they did a great job of keeping everybody entertained and actually putting on events. Um, I thought that was very good and very played out. Mm -hmm. it, they could have, you know, the one point that I would say Mustang Fest lacked was the amount of events. And again, that most likely comes from budget. So that's nothing, you know, I'm not trash talking Mustang Fest at all. It was a great event. But when you compare it to Mustang Week, the events start in the morning and they go until midnight. You know, there's something going on all day. Whereas Mustang Fest, we had a lot more downtime. But again, I don't think that's a bad thing because we got to go do stuff and enjoy a little bit of our time down there. It's not just, we go down on vacation, Mustang, 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 that's all I care about is Mustang. Right, we actually got to enjoy it, which when you're taking these on a 600 mile road trip, don't get me wrong, we love our cars, but when we're down there, we don't want to constantly be in them. We, we want to enjoy them, but we want to be able to enjoy the area too yeah. and go to Broadway at the beach and go to the beach and go do other stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Well, like Andy was saying, it was a pretty damn good event for what it was. Uh, like, like he said, we're not trying to dig on anything. It was a lot of fun. It's better than staying here and going to work every day. True. <laughs> but... I enjoyed a lot of it. It was nice, like he was saying, getting the downtime and actually getting to go and do other stuff other than Mustang. Oh my God, it's Mustang week or Mustang fest or whatever it may be. That's all we gotta do. No, we can have some downtime and actually enjoy what we're doing. But Planet Stang takes on Putt-Putt. <laughs> As you saw, we, 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 we had a little, it was cool doing a different video like that. And it actually brought us out of our shell a little bit. We we're able to do a lot more different content which was kind of cool but it was a lot of fun we I think we enjoyed one day in particular but we'll leave that for a second but it was nice actually seeing all the different stuff that was out there and it seemed like there was a pretty damn good turnout for what it was you know I mean it's not like you said it's not Mustang week it's not their budget they don't have the money to throw at certain things like that but it was a good time and I don't know how this next year is going to come with Mustang Week being back, but if we could go to both events, or maybe there's a certain one that we'll like better than the other one, maybe we'll do that. But we enjoyed it a lot. It was a lot of fun. Um, we hope to see you guys out there, whether it's Mustang Week or Mustang Fest next year. But uh, I think this is the time where we're going to talk about uh, 
a little, uh, the, the, the spicy day that we enjoyed. All right, so the single best time we had at Mustang Fest. On the count of three, you ready? One, two, three, Beaver, Beaver Bar. Bar. <laughs> that was incredible. And if you guys have been longtime followers of us, whether it's on Instagram or YouTube, that was a big night for us. We actually got the media passes because we got recognized. We got to go in the pits and actually put together a video that- Like, if you guys saw the footage, you saw how close we were. Right, like, I mean, when some of those cars spit fire, I was within, you know, three, four feet of mm -hmm. them. And, you know, we're not saying that to brag or anything like that. We're just saying that because for once, well, I wouldn't say for once, but I would say, for the first time that I can really think of, we actually felt like we were doing this for real. You yeah. know what I mean? We're not just two guys in a parking lot recording with a car. Yeah. We were actually involved. Yeah. And to me, that felt incredible mm -hmm. to see that all of our hard work and you guys being along for the journey, you know, that it's just, it's paying off. Yeah. But Beaver Bar, was insane with the burnout competition i thought they it was nice that they put their own spin on it and did yeah. the, the championship belt yeah that was that, pretty cool that was yeah. cool um you know the i will say though the the ceremony of doing the belt went on a little bit longer than what i thought it was going to yeah but again it's the first year yeah. that you can't really judge an event off its first yeah, year and obviously as time goes on every year they do it it's just going to get that much better oh, right so now like we said before were there little things here and there were there hiccups yes yeah but it's gonna happen on the first year of anything and yeah. for all the times that i've gone to mustang week were there little things were there hiccups mm -hmm. yes would i still go to this event again hell yes i would mm -hmm. count me in yeah and you know like nick said with his point of mustang week coming back next year nobody knows anything about dates or anything like that right yeah. now but this is the point that i wanted to make with that I can show appreciation for both events because both of them hold a place in my heart 100%. Met a lot of good people at these events and mm -hmm. made some great friends through this. Yeah. Some of these friends might even be watching this video. Yeah. Um, but I will say for this year in particular, a humongous shout out to Mustang Fest for holding the event at the original dates in September. Yeah. Because even though Mustang Week went back to their roots, not everybody has the flexibility in their schedule mm -hmm. that time of the year yeah. to do that. Not you know, to mention everything is way more expensive. Right. It's way hotter that time of the year in North, or South Carolina. There's so. a lot more people there. It's prime time. Mm -hmm. I know your schedule's busier at work mm -hmm. that time of the year. My schedule's busier at work that time of the year. Everybody's taken off for 4th of July and all this other stuff. I wouldn't have really been able to get the whole week off to go. Yeah. And for people like us who make a 600 mile road trip, we don't want to be there for just a couple days. We yeah. want to be there for the whole time and maybe even a day or two extra. Yeah. But I mean, I would say overall, if I had to give this event a rating, I would say me personally, overall, I would give it a four out of five. Um, obviously, I, can yeah. I can't, I'm not going to hold anything against the event. There were some hiccups, but again, that just happens. That yeah. is nothing against them. It's also the first year, so it's hard to truly rate an event based off of one year. Yeah. But I would say a four out of five. It was a great event. Yeah. The people did awesome. I would definitely go back. And it was just, it was within the, it was the experience. Like, it right. was, it was. We didn't know what we were going to get ourselves into. We just went to experience it. And we had a hell of a time. So Yeah, we did. We had a couple full sends and a couple, uh, you know, we met a lot of you guys there, which that was, was awesome. The, the one and only time I've ever been recognized. So that was really cool. Yeah, that but. was that was huge. I mean, not even to mention just the being recognized, but actually putting a face to some of the people that have been following us this long. Mm -hmm. You know, some of those people were mentioning videos from back when Betty was sitting right here stock. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that just goes to show that they're following the journey and actively being a part of it. And yeah. it's, it's cool to put a name and a face with those people. Yeah. And we hope that we can continue to meet more of you guys at these events and see your builds and talk to you guys. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's awesome.
but I mean, overall, like I said, it was it was a good event. We had a yeah, great time. We really did. And I'm really excited for next year. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> Next year, like we said, what video was that? The final day yeah. at Mustang yeah. Fest. Next year is going to be even spicier. Mm -hmm. Like if you were going to rate this like a pepper scale, this year might have been a habanero, <laughs> give or take. Um, <laughs> next year is going to be a fucking Carolina Reaper. All right, guys. Well, that's the recap. Yeah. Again, great, great event. Mm -hmm. We're looking forward to next year. Yeah. But if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace.